and embarrassment. That is what some Republicans are saying about Congressman Madison Cawthorn after his latest comments. Well, Cawthorn claimed that potentially illicit and illegal activities were happening, but that's something that he has now walked back. Queen City News reporter Derek Dellinger has been watching the reaction to all this unfold, and Derek, the fallout still coming on Cawthorn. Uh, yes, it is. In fact, Cawthorn is not talking about it just yet, and neither is any North Carolina Republican representative in the House. Believe me, we checked. But those we talked with in regards to Cawthorn's comments about orgies and cocaine in DC circles and how they've now been walked back just to add to the list of things that have put the congressman who represents part of our area in hot water. At this point, talking about freshman Congressman Madison Cawthorn's comments about several things in the last few weeks have been something Republicans by and large have had to walk back. Madison is wrong. If there's any thug in this world, it's Putin. That's House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy just two weeks ago addressing a statement Cawthorn made about Ukraine. This new comment, though, is something that raised eyebrows. Stories about orgies and cocaine in D.C. circles and among people he says he looked up to. It's also a story that he's walked back, but for some, the damage is done. People called for us, not only in the district, but across the state and D.C., Michelle, stay in the race, stay in the race. Michelle Woodhouse is one of several Republicans going up against Cawthorn in the Republican primary for the 11th Congressional District. She was once a supporter of Cawthorn's and was even encouraged by him to run in the 11th District as he tried to make a run in Charlotte. But now she has a different view. He comes out of the primary, he gives the left a seat. And it's one thing to hear it from your own party. I believe that in his heart, he thinks that any uh, publicity is good publicity. That's former Henderson County Sheriff George Irwin, who's supporting Republican Ron Honeycutt. But it's another to hear it in Raleigh and in D.C. Emily Brooks is a reporter for Next Star Sister publication, The Hill. A Congressman Dan Bishop of North Carolina actually told me the only orgy happening in Washington is an orgy of spending. Cawthorn has not responded to requests for comments, but just today he released this video as a response to critics. Madison Cawthorn cannot be stopped and that's why they are terrified of him because he's effective. Woodhouse says even the claims in that video can be argued but she says the ruckus that he has caused is also serving another purpose. You can't be a lightning rod and, and a poor legislator it, because then you're a mile wide and an inch deep and people say enough we just don't want it anymore. And Derek, this all comes as Cawthorn will likely be on the ballot, right? Uh, yes, you might remember there were some efforts to disqualify him actually a number of times. This second attempt actually ended in federal court. It is done. He will still be on the ballot. All right, Derek, thank you for that. Mm -hmm.